All right, folks, we have breaking news from watching the world. Remember, you heard it here first. Please subscribe if you like the material. Jehovah's Witnesses elders guilty of failing to report sexual abuse of six-year-old child. McHenry County Judge. Elders face up to one year of jail time. They will be sentenced on March 25th. A McHenry County judge ruled Friday that two Jehovah's Witness elders are guilty of knowingly and willingly failing to report to authorities in 2006 that a six-year-old child in their church was being sexually assaulted by a congregant. Not reporting the sexual abuse permitted the abuse to go on for another 12 years. The ruling follows two years of hearings of a bench trial before McHenry County Judge Mark Gearhart in the case stemming from 2019, conviction of Arturo Hernandez Pedraza. Hernandez Pedraza, 44, a church congregant, was convicted of sexual assault and other crimes related to the girl's ongoing sexual abuse. Neither police nor the Department of Children and Family Services were notified until the victim was 18 years old when she told church elders that the abuse continued. The girl endured countless sexual assaults and death threats by her abuser throughout her childhood. According to trial testimony, Hernandez Pedraza is serving 45 years in prison. On Friday, the church elders, Michael Pencava, 72, and Colin Scott, 88, were found guilty of Class A criminal misdemeanor for violating provisions of a state's mandatory reporter law. They each face up to one year in jail when sentenced on March 25th. Defense attorneys argued that the elders were not mandated reporters. They maintained that Hernandez Pedraza's confessions, as well as statements made by the child and another church member, were protected under clergy penitent privilege. Anything they heard related to the child's abuse fell under the protection of the confessional process in the same way a confession made inside a confessional booth in the Roman Catholic Church would, defense attorney maintained. Gearhart considered the child's and other church members' statements in his ruling, but not the confession made by Hernandez Pedraza. Rather than call authorities, Pencava, as he is trained to do as a church elder, said he sought the advice of the attorneys of a Jehovah Witness headquarters in New York. The abuse was handled through spiritual guidance, as was directed by the Jehovah Witness attorneys. Scott, who participated in the bench trial via Zoom, did not testify, was part of a three-person judicial committee formed the day after Pencava learned of the abuse. His attorney, Terry Eckel, said he was not part of the decision to not call police. Scott became involved in the days that followed and participated in spiritual guidance. Under questioning Friday by McHenry County State's Attorney Patrick Keneally, Pencava testified that he made the call to the headquarters but did not know who he spoke to or what their qualifications were as an attorney. But, he said, this person advised that he was not required to report the abuse and he trusted that advice, he said. In closing arguments, Keneally said under Illinois law, Pencava and Scott are mandated reporters despite their claims they are not. This case is the reason for which the statute was written to stop this in 2006, Keneally said. It was extremely irresponsible of Pencava to take advice regarding the protection of a six-year-old child from someone over the phone in another state, not even knowing who he was talking to or what their qualifications were, Keneally said. It was ignorance born out of carelessness, their own recklessness and stupidity, Keneally said. If they decide to put themselves in charge of the well-being of a six-year-old child, then they better act responsibly, he said. The purpose of the clergy penitent privilege is to shield the flock and not protect the devil, Keneally said, adding that what they did protected Hernandez Pedraza. The girl and the other church member already paid the price for Pencava and Scott not following the law now it's their turn, Keneally said. 
Assistant State Attorney Astra Yoash said the elders knew the girl was an abused child and their defense went from privilege to bad legal advice. He said the mandatory reporting statute is not to protect the church but to protect a child. To protect an abused child, how absurd would it be to allow a church to cloak itself and avoid state law, Yoash said. In his ruling, Gearhart said Pinkava's testimony was not credible and ruled that the elders are considered mandated reporters. The defendants had an obligation to report the abuse whether or not clergy penitent privilege trumped that, Gearhart said. The defendants chose not to contact DCFS knowingly and willingly.